Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shamro here. Today in this video we are going to unbox and review this new Ishin multifunction FPV suit. This is the Ishin Q90C, basically an Ishin flying frog brushed micro FPV racing quadcopter but with some very interesting features and upgrades this time. First of all, this is a complete FPV package. This means everything for you to fly FPV or start FPV whooping with this quadcopter right outside the box is included right here. Second, the most interesting thing is the beginners are going to be very, very happy. So those who are not very good in flying RC quadcopters, especially the micro FPV racing quadcopters, or those who want to get started flying FPV with these micro FPV racing quadcopters, there's a very, very interesting feature this time, the supplied mini 2.4 GHZ two-way communication radio control system with this package is also able to connect to your computer and you can download a free FPV racing simulator called Free Rider, install it on your computer and using the same radio control you'll be able to fly FPV racing quadcopters in Free Rider FPV racing simulator. Now you can learn to fly, practice to fly, polish your skills and when you're good get your quadcopter out an FPV whoop right away in your house with confidence. This is one of the most interesting thing and of course I have used free rider FPV racing simulator that does make difference if you fly daily on that and practice flying FPV racing quadcopters daily. Enough said, let's take a look at what comes inside the box, what are the other features of this quadcopter and though it's a brushed micro FPV racing quadcopter, let's see how powerful it can be and how much fun it will be to FPV whoop around my apartment for you in your house as well. All right, okay, so let's unbox quickly, but before that, it has three flight modes angle, horizon, and manual. It has a wireless control simulator system wireless control simulator system, no cables involved. We will find out very, very soon. It also has a 5.8 GSZ video transmission system and of course, a two-way mini radio control system that has vibration tips when you have a low battery problem, when you have low batteries on your quadcopter. So this has FPV, it has a propeller guards for safe flights and the flight times are up to six minutes and of course, a 2.4 GSZ mini radio control system. Inside the box, you will get, wow, a transparent one. Nice. So this time we have a transparent Q90C. Let me just open this from backside here so we can start taking things out. All right. So first thing you want to take out is this neat little transparent body. Uh, micro FPV racing quadcopter. It's a brushed micro FPV racing quadcopter and they went ahead with transparent body because inside there are LED lights and be and this transparent body will reflect those lights making it look more beautiful at night or for your night FPV flights. Okay, we will take a closer look at it later. After that, let's dig in more. This is the mini 2.4 GHZ radio control system, for which they are saying that it also offers wireless connection for free rider FPV racing simulator. Wireless connection. Hmm. This is what I need to find out. How can you connect this radio wirelessly to your computer to fly the free rider FPV racing simulator. So that will be a part of this video as well. And I have already downloaded the free rider flight simulator. It's already set on my computer. We'll be able to find that out very, very soon. All right, so we have a radio control and a quadcopter and to fly FPV, you will also need video goggles. And they have provided you, of course, with this mini Ishin VR006 mini 
HD video goggles, FPV video goggles. First, of course, will be the accessories. Let me put this uh, aside so you can see what accessories come with it. We have propeller guards, extra propellers, a 7.4 volt 25C 300 milliamp LiPo battery, a user manual, a USB dongle to charge your batteries, a propeller removal tool, a radio control sticks, okay and then we have the accessories for the video goggles antenna and usb charging cable um, uh, dry and wet wipes for you to clean the goggles there should be one more bag that actually has straps for this video goggles so you can wear it unfortunately ishin you have provided me with two antennas two usb cables two wipes and two of these uh, double-sided foam for the nose section of fp video goggles you forgot to you know put the head straps for the fpv goggles let's fly ishin q90c indoors first i will fly line of sight and then we will enjoy some first person view uh, fpv flights on this quadcopter but before i go ahead with the flight let me show you how to use the supply radio control with the free rider flight simulator this fpv racing quadcopter flight simulator because this is where you'll be able to learn to fly and practice flying before you actually fly the real one let me show you how to connect everything and how to use this radio control wirelessly to fly uh, fpv racing quadcopter and learn to fly or practice flying in free rider so first thing you will need is of course the free rider app or free rider program that you can download online very easily just google for free rider fpv racing simulator or free rider fpv simulator and you'll be able to find it okay after that what you need to do is uh, power on the quadcopter and the radio control radio control will start buzzing or uh, vibrating because it uh, it's a dual uh, two-way transmission and if it doesn't detect the quadcopter signals it will keep vibrating anyway so just turn it on and power on your quadcopter see the radio is buzzing so just ignore that and power the quadcopter and your uh, buzzing will stop all right so next thing is to get a usb cable and connect your quadcopter to computer all right just insert in the usb port until you hear the usb chimes from computer there you go okay finally you will have to press and hold the channel game button so press and hold and you will hear another usb chime uh, which means that the radio control is detected now you will have to go ahead and run the free ride uh, free rider simulator what i'm going to do is focus this camera towards me and run a screen recorder right here so let me run the screen recorder i hope it will record everything full screen okay it's recording run the free rider Okay, so quad is there, all right, connected to USB, to your computer, and radio control connected to quad and to free rider. All right, this is how it will fly. So first off, you will need to calibrate the controller, okay? Uh, just go ahead and follow the instructions to calibrate the controller. Okay, say okay, put it up, say okay, then make it center the throttle stick, uh, this is stick, to the right all the way click ok to up all the way click ok all right now we can fly it okay so i will go fly in um, desert because we are in dubai all right so now we are ready to fly so first off i will fly it like that and you can see i can control it wow <laughs> nice okay uh, you have to get used to this radio a little bit with the free rider. I was flying free rider with my Futaba and it was really fun. Uh, I was using the real flight dongle, it was really fun. 
uh, but now using this I have to actually get used to it but hey it's actually working nice and smooth so Ishin Q90C radio control is working very well at the moment okay I'm trying to land on the table right uh oh didn't land it okay anyway I'll change the camera to FPV and I'll go fly here we go cleared one gate cleared second gate third gate uh oh I was doing very well actually <laughs> for the first time on this radio control okay gate one gate two missed the gate three gate four gate five uh, and hit the gate six <laughs> uh, let's fly acro mode okay so here we go let's do some freestyling yeah baby freestyling awesome Oh, oh, I crashed on freestyling. Let's do it again. Whose Land Rover is that? That's a nice Land Rover. So basically, using this radio, you can actually practice flying, practice doing aerobatics, practice doing a bit of, you know, freestyling, whatever you call it. Crashes don't matter because you always get it. If you crash this one, of course, you will be breaking stuff. Okay, let's try another map here. So, let's see what is this. Um, green. Don't like green. Island. Let's try island, shall we? Oh, we also have a car park in this one. Awesome. So, let's try the island first. Is this in acro mode? Yes. <laughs> That's why. It's very, very twitchy. Oh, tree! I hit the tree. Let me put it on self-leveling because I'm not used to this radio control. And let's go fly in the trees. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Control. Actually speaking, as I said, you have to get used to it. Controls are actually very nice and smooth. And they do respond very well. They do respond very well. Uh oh, where's my camera? FPV camera. So basically, I don't have this jungle here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can fly in the simulator. Check out this little island here. Oh, <laughs> that was nice. I wasn't expecting it to do that. I thought it would just crash, but oh, <laughs> anyway. So you see, I mean, you can use Ishin Q90C radio control connected to the quadcopter and quadcopter connected to the computer. Then you have a wireless bound to fly the free rider. And you know, this is a flight simulator and it will help you a lot, a whole lot to learn to fly these FPV racing quadcopters and to practice and polish your skills before you actually move to the real one. Well, for me, I have enough experience, Alhamdulillah, so I'm gonna disconnect this one. Uh, first off, you will have to press and hold game button, so you will be back to the uh, quadcopter control. Alright, just now I have demonstrated how to use your Ishin Q90C and its radio control to fly with the FPV simulator free rider. And now it's the real deal. So basically, after you practice on the simulator, you can move on to the real thing. Now we are flying in angle mode. Man, what a smooth flyer. We don't have much punch in this one as brushless quadcopters, but the controls are amazingly smooth and responsive. So controls, it is a very smooth flyer, very very stable, controls are really smooth and responsive. If you want it to be more agile, of course you can switch to horizon and acro mode where you can perform your acro moves 
But for now, inside the room, there is a plenty of response in uh, angled mode. My radio starts beeping because it shows uh, the battery is getting low. This is a nice and smooth flyer. I can't wait to, you know, fly FPV with it. Very nice controls. Loving it how smooth it is. How smooth it's flying. How responsive it is. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is that after adding the uh, propeller guards, it becomes bigger to fit into confined spaces to fly FPV, uh, you know, obstacle courses. And if you don't add the propeller guards, you will hit the wall and the first hit to the obstacle, uh, of course, you will crash. Just like now I hit the wall, I didn't crash because of the propeller guards, but if you didn't have that, you will hit the propellers bare to the wall, you will crash immediately. So, uh, anyway, we will see how the FPV goes on this one. So far, it flies simply fantastic. Controls are really, really good. And you can use the same radio control to fly Freerider FPV simulator as well. What else do you need? Practice flying, learn to fly, and then move on to, you know, the real deal. Oh, almost hit myself in the batteries. All right, ran out of battery completely. You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.